Now on 4 News Now at 6, gunshots, sirens, and helicopters. Some of the sounds families heard on the South Hill during a standoff that lasted for hours will break down the events that led up to a shootout with law enforcement. Get ready for a warm-up for the weekend, but I'm also tracking wet weather arriving for the second half. I'll help you plan your day around the rain in the first alert forecast. And the next women's national wrestling champion will be crowned this weekend. We take you inside the podium what this tournament means for Spokane. You're watching 4 News Now at 6 o'clock. On your screen, dramatic images from that standoff in Moran Prairie last night. Law enforcement launching multiple flashbang style devices into that home. Smoke billowing out of broken windows. Law enforcement trying to detain a man who had barricaded himself inside. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Kirsten O'Connor. And I'm Aaron Luna. The suspect surrendered to deputies after several hours. You can see here on your screen where the shooting happened. The house is several hundred yards away from Moran Prairie Elementary School. The shooting taking place while while children were practicing soccer and baseball on the fields nearby. Our Jordan Smith live from the scene with what neighbors say and what they saw and heard. Jordan. Yeah, Aaron, I'm here on Glen Rose Road just off the street. You can see the house that was involved in this standoff taped off. There's still heavy police activity here. Officers moving in and out of the area. And at this hour, many unanswered questions about the standoff, particularly on the events leading up to it. The sights and sounds from Thursday's standoff will stick with the community for the near future. I don't think many people see something like that in their lifetime, honestly. These events, unprecedented in the area, taking place less than 24 hours after an incident at the same house. Late Wednesday night, mental health care workers called deputies in to help with a man they say threatened to kill his mother. Deputies say they spoke to the suspect, later identified as Jeremy Bosch, through the front window. But when they revealed they were with law enforcement, Bosch pulled out a pistol and pointed it at the deputies, who proceeded to leave the residence as a method of de-escalation. Undercover deputies began surveilling the house all throughout Thursdays, tracking Bosch to Safeway last night, where they say he threatened a customer. Officers followed him back to the house, where Bosch and law enforcement later exchanged fire. He heard something to the effect of, this is it, and then he said he heard about six shots as he was heading into his garage. Rick Wyka relaying a message his neighbor shared with him two doors down from the gunfire. Percent fire! Percent fire! Deputies called in backup. Within minutes, waves of law enforcement responded, coloring the neighborhood in red and blue lights. Well, what I saw was police cars down there, and they looked like the SWAT guys in black. And they were climbing up on the roofs and had their long guns. And After deploying those flashbang style devices and tear gas, they say Bosch came out of the home still uncooperative. He was tased, detained, and taken to the hospital for treatment. And on Thursday, Spokane County Major Crimes Unit developed probable cause to arrest Bosch for two counts of second degree assault and obtained a warrant for his arrest. But at this hour, it's unclear why Bosch wasn't immediately det detained when he left his house for the grocery store with those undercover agents nearby. We were sent to the sheriff's office for comment on this to try to clear this up. But as of news time, we have yet to hear back. In Moran Prairie tonight, I'm Jordan Smith for News Now. Jordan, thank you. And we told you about this story first on the 4 News Now app. Download the KXLY app and turn on push notifications to get alerts you need to know sent straight to your phone. We're learning more about the crash that cut this car in half in Spokane Valley. One man died. A woman was taken to the hospital with serious injuries. It happened near North McDonald Road and East Valley Way, east of Pines. The Spokane County Sheriff's Office says the man ran a stop sign, then lost control of the car. That's when he hit a tree, splitting the car in half. Alcohol containers were found in the car, but deputies believe speeding and reckless driving was the main cause of the crash. We'll get ready for a potentially soggy start to youth soccer and baseball season. It's not going to be all bad, though. Temperatures are starting to creep up. Let's send it over to <laughs> Chief Meteorologist Chris Crocker. I say creep because it's slow, right? It is a slow increase into spring weather, and it's going to be especially cool tomorrow if you have soccer games or baseball practice or track meets. I've got a track meet tomorrow. It is going to be a chilly morning. Right now, we can see the sky 
skies are clearing. If there are a few isolated showers around the region on the radar, those will be coming to an end very, very shortly. If you're heading out for some Friday night fun, expect those showers to come to an end as our sun sets and we lose our daytime heating. A lot of fun things going on on this Friday night. And for the most part, you will be staying dry. Here's our forecast radar drying out quickly and then staying dry through the overnight and into a sunny start to the day tomorrow, but it is going to be a cold start to the day tomorrow. Here's a look at our temperatures right now. We're running below average and it's going to be chilly if you head out uh, this evening, but tomorrow morning you'll need the heavy coat on the sidelines. I swear I've never been as cold as on the sidelines at the South Hill Soccer Complex. Something about that spot. It just seems extra chilly, so you'll need the, uh, the full heavy-duty coffee coat and uh, anything else you have tomorrow morning. Meanwhile, throughout the day, we have a nice warm up. We're headed up to a high of 59 degrees, actually a little above average. Then the showers move in. I'll tell you about the second half of your weekend forecast in just a few minutes, Aaron. Thank you, Chris. New at six o'clock, former Seattle Sonic star Sean Kemp. Sean Kemp has been charged with assault stemming from a parking lot shooting last month. He was arrested outside the Tacoma Mall. His lawyer says the former NBA star fired his gun in self-defense while trying to recover his phone that was stolen earlier in the day. Court documents did not indicate Kemp was shot at. Documents also revealed that video evidence does not support his statement. He also sent a text message 15 minutes prior to the shooting saying, quote, I'm about to shoot this expletive. He is set to be arraigned on May 4th. Around the nation tonight, new action by the Supreme Court means there will be no change to access to the abortion pill Mifepristone for now. Last week, a Texas judge suspended FDA approval of the pill that had been first cleared for use over 20 years ago and is the primary drug used in over half of U.S. abortions. A federal appeals court ruled it can stay on the market for now, but with restrictions. Washington is one of the states that started stockpiling Mifepristone, while other states banned nearly all abortions. Not just about abortion. This case, if it's not overturned, has implications for a wide range of drugs that are critical and life-saving. But Florida shouldn't be a destination state for abortion. The Supreme Court's decision is essentially a timeout. It will give justices more time to hear from the other side. It means nothing will change with regard to Mifepristone until at least next Thursday. Still ahead, ash from a volcanic eruption in eastern Russia impacting the inland northwest. Meteorologist Matt Gray explains what's happening coming up. For news now on your time with Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Save your green. I just don't think STCU could handle us. We've grown a lot. Can I be frank with you? not just because that's my name. Now we've upgraded our tools, team, and bring a fresh perspective. So what's your pitch? Slow down a bit. Growth's great, but uncontrolled growth, now that can be dangerous. And how could growth be bad? You ever seen a six foot tall third grader sitting on Santa's lap? It's weird. This is some sort of reverse psychology. You can't drive 80 miles per hour down a highway that's not finished. You don't wanna eat a grilled cheese. I would have stopped at the first one. I didn't know where I was going with that anyways. I get your point. But I don't need STCU to help us slow down. True, but we're happy to offer strategy and advice until you do need us. Sometimes, what's best for you doesn't boost our bottom line. Sounds like STCU actually cares. <laughs> we do. All right, three, two, one. I feel like we've had a breakthrough here today. STCU Business, partner up. If you've been looking for a new vehicle in the current market, you may be hearing things like extra charges, added accessories, or second sticker. Not at Coeur d'Alene Honda, we make it easy. We'll keep you posted until your new Honda arrives, give you a fair value for your trade, and give you a lifetime warranty at no additional cost to you. Well, that was easy. Come meet the team and purchase your next vehicle at Coeur d'Alene Honda. And don't forget about our lifetime warranty. Call today for our available inventory and check out our website at cdahonda.com. Fred's has the latest Samsung kitchen appliances in stock and on sale. 
Save up to 15% when you bundle three select appliances. Samsung offers a huge selection of refrigerators with family size storage and contemporary styling. Choose from gas or electric ranges and a variety of colors and styles. Need a new dishwasher? Samsung dishwashers have dual wash arms and a rotating spray jet to clean even the dirtiest dishes. Stop by your local Fred's Appliance and see the latest in kitchen appliances. Put some spring into your step with great floors. Shop exclusive specials throughout our showroom on carpet, luxury vinyl, and cultivated wood. Save on Karastan carpet, only $20.23 for a whole home installation. Our huge selection and expert team are here to help you recreate the perfect look and feel of your home. Great Floors offers 12 months, 0% financing, so you are free to select the exact flooring you want. Visit a showroom today and live life on Great Floors. 1,200 women and girls from across the country are competing in the USA National Wrestling Tournament at the podium in Spokane this weekend. We're taking a live look now at the podium tonight. It's the first time the tournament is being hosted in the Pacific Northwest. The event attracts thousands of people to Spokane, giving a boost to the economy. Our Vanessa Perez caught a match today at the podium. Best women and girl wrestlers from around the country are packing into the podium to participate in the freestyle competition. Not only does this elevate women in the sport, but it's set to bring millions of dollars into the Spokane economy. Top female wrestlers are facing off at the podium. The tournament is a qualifier for the national team. Some divisions will head to Finland after this. Peyton Stroud started wrestling seven years ago. The Washington native is hoping to make it to the world team. Being now a senior in college, I'm really realizing that like winning isn't really what wrestling's about. It's kind of just like, wow, I went out there, I put on a singlet, and I freaking, you know, I fought for like what I want to do. You know what I mean? I don't know. It's, yeah, it's just crazy. Women in wrestling is growing at an extreme rate. Women are feeling okay to come do it. You know what I mean? And then having it here in Washington, Washington was actually one of the first states to sanction women's wrestling. So I think that's pretty cool. Being here that, you know, and now it draws this many people. And I think this is one of the biggest events they've ever had. Spokane Sports says the tournament has been a pipe dream for years. So to host women's wrestling as it's exploding across the nation is a phenomenal opportunity for us to be able to showcase what Spokane is doing and what Washington State is doing for wrestling overall. Spokane Sports says the city is becoming a mecca for wrestling. The event is traditionally hosted in Texas. The championship is set to generate millions into the Spokane community. Yeah, it's tremendous. It's over 5.5 million that goes back into our community through hotel night stays, through spending in retail, restaurants, shopping, flights in. So what you see, it's probably hopefully the safest you'll see downtown with all these wrestlers walking around. USA Team Handball Championships, USA Judo, and Badminton are up next at the podium. While this tournament is a boost to the Spokane economy, it also attracts even more women and girls to the sport. The event runs through Sunday, and although this is the first time it's being hosted right here in Spokane, it isn't the last. It's set to return over the next two years. Reporting from the podium, Vanessa Perez, 4 News Now. That looks interesting. Love having the podium here in downtown where it is a cool night. Our high today was only 49.56 is our average high and we started the day off right at freezing and that's where we're going to find ourselves tomorrow morning as well. But there is warmer weather ahead. I will tell you all about it after the break. Sign up for breaking news alerts with the 4 News Now app. 4 News Now is brought to you by Craig Swap and Associates. Some ideas seem good, but aren't. These guys will buy our house without even seeing it. Online buyers use algorithms to treat every seller the same. We work with you personally. We Buy Ugly Houses customizes every purchase to every seller's needs. Call or click to sell quick. Jonah here. Before you decide on an SUV, I invite you to see and drive the Volkswagen Tiguan. It's impressive, and it checks all the boxes. A roomy interior, plenty of cargo space with remote power lift gate. All-wheel drive, that's important in the Northwest. Solid performance, modern infotainment system with all the high-tech choices. Check out the Tiguan at your nearby Post Falls Volkswagen, the home of 0000. zero, zero, zero. This is about more than just tractors. 
These are people's lives we're talking about here. When I'm on my Kubota, everything goes away. It's my therapy. Okay, guys, we need to get this part ordered for Rick's tractor immediately. Heck, they don't treat people as customers. They treat people like family. Experience the film that started it all as a live symphony orchestra performs with the full movie on the big screen. Second show added. Get your tickets now at ticketswest.com. Some ideas seem good, but aren't. These guys will buy our house without even seeing it. Online buyers use algorithms to treat every seller the same. We work with you personally. We Buy Ugly Houses customizes every purchase to every seller's needs. Call or click to sell quick. The artificial intelligence kidnapping plot. Next, in some edition, they told mom her daughter had been kidnapped. They demanded a million dollar ransom. On the phone call was my daughter's voice, crying and sobbing. But it was a scam. They had cloned the teen's voice. I didn't for a second doubt her voice. Then, the legendary Anne Margaret. Still hot at 81. <laughs> Next, Inside Edition. Watch 4 News now at 6 and Inside Edition at 7. Well, new at 6 o'clock. With the weather warming up this weekend, it might be a good time to go out, take a hike, maybe sure. just chill in the backyard. That's exactly what this guy in North Carolina did, but he had a surprise visitor. And it was a big surprise. <laughs> He's on his little chair there, just like, enjoying his uh -oh. little... I love the stare down and the frozen... Oh, okay. I believe, when I was watching this with our producer, Stephen, that they had kind of a long... Yeah, it's a long moment. <laughs> it's like, uh -oh. Who's going to go first? I love that oh, video. Oh, my. I could watch it all day. And Stephen doesn't believe that the bear knew that the guy was sitting there either. Well, yeah, obviously. He, he just came gets in, spooked, and then he's like, looking What's for this? some trash or maybe a refrigerator. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Didn't you have a stare down with a raccoon in the parking lot at one time? It's very similar to that, right? Except I then tamed it, and it's living in my <laughs> guest bedroom. <laughs> I think there have been more than one stare down with a raccoon. You called them trash pandas when I first oh, moved here. I don't. I'm pro raccoon, mm. but I don't think I would be as cool if I. Our bears are still snoozing because it is cool in the inland northwest. They know that uh, it is too chilly to rise and shine just yet, but we are making a little bit of ground. Here's a look at our uh, current conditions. It's only 48 degrees in Coeur d'Alene with mostly cloudy skies. We're we're clearing in Spokane and it is 48. If you are headed out for some fun this Friday night, maybe the Journey concert at the Spokane Arena, if you're lucky enough, it's going to be cold walking to the car, especially after the concert, because we're headed down to a low of 32. That's what you'll experience tomorrow morning if you're up early. But then we warm up to a high close to 60 degrees, sunshine to start, but then overcast conditions as we get into the afternoon. Here's a look at our satellite and radar right now, and you can see those instability polka dot showers heating up in the heat of the day, but then they fizzle out as we get later into the evening and we will be dry overnight with clearing skies. It will not stay clear for long. Here's our forecast starting off at the current time. Just brief ridging of high pressure, but then as we get into Saturday afternoon, the clouds start increasing as systems approach off the Pacific. Chance of showers up in the Northeast Mountains and North Idaho Saturday night, but we'll be dry across the rest of the region with those clouds. Here is Sunday morning then, 8 o'clock. Showers possible up along the Canadian border. Just a slight chance. Then as we get into the afternoon, we start to see showers and possible thunderstorms developing as early as 1 o'clock. I think it'll be a little bit later than that. Uh, we'll also get some breaks. It's not going to be a constant rain and the best chance for the wet weather will be in North Idaho. Here's 8 o'clock Sunday starting to show signs of drying out, but we have another chance of showers on Monday. Overnight lows tonight again chilly. We're going to be down around freezing. That is below average, but above average for highs tomorrow up in the upper 50s and even around 60 degrees. And we're even warmer for Sunday despite the clouds and the showers up around 60 and then cooling down 
back up and back down, I should say, in the 40s and 50s through the rest of the seven day forecast. We do have a slight chance of showers as well Monday, Wednesday and Thursday. We are running out of weekends to go skiing. I will be back with your ski report. Some fun things happening you'll want to know about. That's in the next half hour, Kirsten. Thank you, Chris. Ash from a volcano in eastern Russia made it all the way to the inland northwest this morning. The Shivaluk volcano erupted Tuesday in Russia, only 500 miles from Alaska's Aleutian Islands. Communities around the volcano were buried in up to eight inches of ash. The ash cloud forced flight cancellations between Alaska and the lower 48. Well, some of that ash is now moving into the lower 48 and it's impacting traffic in the inland northwest. Meteorologist Matt Gray has been tracking that volcanic ash and what it's been doing to local air travel, Matt. Yeah, it got a little bit messy this morning and we're going to be keeping a close eye on that ash as it continues to kind of hang around our broader region. This colorized image behind me, so what this does, is it helps us detect ash and volcanic gases that are riding along with those ash clouds. This is from yesterday and you can see the bright yellow colors, that stream of ash coming across just south of mainland Alaska from that eruption in Russia. Now, if we fast forward to Friday morning, a small piece of that layer of ash did drift into the inland northwest, right about 25,000 feet off the ground. The U.S. Weather Aviation Center ended up putting out this warning for pilots to stay away from that altitude after several reports of the ash came in from planes in the area. Now, ash is a serious problem for aircraft, and it's got to be avoided at all costs. It can damage sensors, it can blind windows, and it can even clog up jet engines and cause them to stop working. So some serious stuff. Alaska Airlines did tell me that they did cancel flights this morning to and from Spokane as a safety precaution. Flights between Pullman and Seattle were also delayed for the same reason on Alaska. Other airlines I contacted said they did not anticipate any interruptions because of the ash. However, there were some delays and cancellations today, later in the day, from Delta, American, and Southwest. No confirming right now if ash warnings played a role or not in those cases. Springtime, a lot of active weather around the rest of the country. So what's next? Well, the ash that was over the inland northwest this morning is now drifting over Montana and East Idaho. But the bulk of this ash is getting spun into what you see at the top of your screen there. A strong storm out in the Gulf of Alaska. We're actually forecasting that system to slowly move down the coast and bring us that rain that Chris showed you in the seven-day forecast by the end of the weekend and early next week. Will Ash be coming for a ride with that? Perhaps, but probably not in the way that you are thinking. See, volcanic ash is great at collecting water droplets, and so that ash is probably going to ride to the ground inside raindrops over the next few days, and maybe even a little bit of that will make it here. Matt, thank you. One of those people whose flights were canceled was Leanne Rhymes. She's supposed to be performing at Northern Quest tonight. No word yet if it'll be rescheduled for News Now. We'll be right back. Download the 4 News Now app today. This is how legends are made. Chevy Silverado, a new Silverado HD. Choose your own path with the number one best-selling retail full-size pickup and see where it takes you. Find new roads. It's Chevy truck season. Get 0% financing plus make no monthly payments for 90 days on all 2023 Silverado 1500 pickups or get 37.50 total value on a 2023 Silverado with a turbo high output engine. See your hometown Chevy dealer today. Take advantage of all the tax credits you can, including the new Washington State Working Families Tax Credit. You could get up to $1,200 back on state taxes already paid. Visit workingfamiliescredit.wa.gov. We are Heritage Funeral and Cremation. When you need us, we'll be here. We are committed to serving your family as we would our own. With respect, love, and compassion. Heritage is part of a local, community-owned association. With roots going back to 1888. And a dedication to Inland Northwest families. That we support by giving back to over 15 community organizations annually. We're here when you need us most. Monday morning, Chris Evans is here live. Then look who's coming live to GMA next week. Emmy winner from Abbott Elementary, Cheryl Lee Ralph, Woody Harrelson and Justin Theroux, and Ray Romano. I love it. All on. Good morning, America. Uh, 
BECU, we like to honor the support and education of children. So I did volunteer reading with Progress Elementary, and it was so much fun. And I would read once a month. We always read books that were meaningful and impactful and taught lessons to the kids. They really seemed to enjoy it. Here at BECU, we know education is key to help keep kids in schools and teach them life achievement skills. I believe that everybody just needs the right tools to succeed. Hit the ground running in the most adventurous Honda vehicles yet. Like the Pilot and Passport Trail Sport, or the Ridgeline, made more rugged with better off-road performance and more capable with different driving modes available to conquer snow, mud, and sand. Adventure on in the Honda for you. Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or visit your local Honda dealer today. Ford News Now is brought to you by Perfection Tire. Around the nation tonight, the man federal agents say is behind a massive intelligence document leak faced a federal district court judge today in Boston. Federal prosecutors say the 21-year-old Massachusetts Air Guardsman shared highly sensitive information in online chat rooms. Gloria Pasmino has the details. The 21-year-old Massachusetts Air National Guardsman arrested in connection with the massive leak of classified documents was charged Friday. This is about the transmission, uh, both the unlawful retention and the transmission of the documents. Jack DeGera is charged with unauthorized retention and transmission of national defense information and unauthorized removal and retention of classified information and defense materials, according to court documents. Do you want to say anything about the charge here? You talk to your son? According to a probable cause affidavit, DeGera has held top secret clearance since 2021. He was assigned to a 24-7 operational mission that gathers information from various sources and compiles it for some of the most senior military leaders around the globe, according to a defense official. What he does is he's a cyber transport engineer. Tejera is also believed to be the leader of an obscure invitation-only Discord chat room, where the trove of documents was allegedly posted around December of last year. People who sign agreements uh, to be able to receive classified documents acknowledge the importance to the national security of not uh, disclosing those documents. Uh, and uh, we intend to, to uh, send that message, uh, how important it is uh, to our national security. I'm Gloria Pasmino reporting. Well, inside of this sinking car in South Florida, there's a child trapped in his car seat. His father saying this all started when he lost control of his car, trying to avoid an oncoming car crashing into a canal. And when police arrived, they quickly jumped into the murky water, each time coming up empty handed. Eventually, I felt the baby seat, the car seat, and I, I pulled it as hard as I could because I couldn't figure out where the seatbelt was or anything of that nature. Luckily, it broke off and the child boy was able to pop up to the top of the car. But pulling the boy out of the water was only half the battle. One of the officers saying he thought of his own son while performing CPR over and over. The, the third sense of CPR, he pretty much threw up the water that was inside his stomach. Emotionally, it was the worst day of my life. These officers, all of whom are fathers, credit their teamwork for beating the odds in a canal where they've seen most accident victims lose their lives. Remember when I was going to the hospital with the kid, I left my gun belt, um, I left my shoes. I was in the back of the ambulance like a normal civilian. It wasn't really about doing my job. It was more about, you know, saving the day. It was, I felt like more of a human, a human being, more of a police officer, honestly. Good, yeah? We have much more coming up tonight at 6.30. Including giving you a bird's eye view of one of the most popular trails in Spokane and Kootenai counties in this week's Air 4 Adventure. Stream 4 News now on your TV for free with the KXLY Plus app. I just don't think STCU could handle us. We've grown a lot. Can I be frank with you? Not just because that's my name. Now we've upgraded our tools, team, and bring a fresh perspective. So what's your pitch? Slow down a bit. Growth's great, but uncontrolled growth, now that can be dangerous. And how could growth be bad? You ever seen a six foot tall third grader sitting on Santa's lap? It's weird. This is some sort of reverse psychology. You can't drive 80 miles per hour down a highway that's not finished. You don't want to 
eat a grilled cheese. I would have stopped at the first one. I didn't know where I was going with that anyways. I get your point, but I don't need STC to help us slow down. True, but we're happy to offer strategy and advice until you do need us. Sometimes, what's best for you doesn't boost our bottom line. Sounds like STC actually cares. <laughs> we do. I feel like we've had a breakthrough here today. STCU Business. Partner up. Bill's Heating and Air, your locally owned factory direct and voted number one HVAC contractor, wants to become your go-to heating and air conditioning company. We offer free estimates and next day installs. And now we will beat any and all written estimates from any other licensed contractor. Yeah, you heard right. We will beat any other written estimate. Oh, and did I mention we have a 10-year parts and labor guarantee? Call now for your free estimate. Spring into action and take your adventures to the next level with Northwest Motorsport. Fuel your next adventure at nwmsbox.com slash spring. Find the keys to your next adventure at Northwest Motorsport. Put some spring into your step with great floors. Shop exclusive specials throughout our showroom on carpet, luxury vinyl, and cultivated wood. Save on Karistan carpet, only $20.23 for a whole home installation. Our huge selection and expert team are here to help you recreate the perfect look and feel of your home. Great Floors offers 12 months, 0% financing, so you are free to select the exact flooring you want. Visit a showroom today and live life on great floors. This week on Svengoolie, big-headed aliens, flying saucers, and outer space madness. They're going to hit us. They're going to hit us. It's the 1955 sci-fi classic, This Island Earth. Well, that's okay with me. Saturday night at 8 on MeTV 4.2. Live from downtown Spokane, this is 4 News Now at 6.30. New images of that dramatic standoff last night. In Moran Prairie, you can see deputies tossing multiple flashbang-style devices into the home where the suspect was barricaded inside. Sounds of gunfire, sirens, and a helicopter circling overhead. Neighbors saying this is hopefully just a once-in-a-lifetime series of events. We'll take a look at this map if you're not familiar with the area. This happened just several hundred yards away from Moran Prairie Elementary School where children and adults sheltered in place. And tonight we're learning more about what happened the night before when deputies say the man pointed a gun at them and they chose not to arrest him. Our Jordan Smith is live at the scene again tonight with the latest on the situation and what neighbors are saying, Jordan. Yeah, Kirsten, still a lot of unanswered questions here tonight. We're here on Glen Rose, the house that was involved in that standoff taped off just up the street from us here. Still a lot of police officers moving in and out of the scene. And also earlier this afternoon, the SWAT car was still on the property. Very unusual uh, that far after a situation had been uh, resolved. Now, as we mentioned, police still working the scene. This really all began on Wednesday night. Let's give you a timeline of events here. When mental health care workers called deputies in to help a man they say threatened to kill his mother. Court, uh, court search warrant documents list him as Jeremy Bosch. Deputies spoke to Bosch through the front window, but when they revealed they were with law enforcement, Bosch pulled out a pistol and pointed it at the deputies who proceeded to leave the residence as a method of de-escalation. Undercover deputies began surveilling the house all throughout Thursday, tracking Bosch to Safeway last night, where they say he threatened a customer. Officers followed him back to this house and that's when the standoff began. Neighbors nearby watching and listening as the police moved in. What I saw was police cars down there and they looked like the SWAT guys in black and they were climbing up on the roofs and had their long guns. And I don't think many people see something like that in their lifetime, honestly. Lots of sirens. Didn't hear the shots. I did not hear the yelling. I uh, heard lots of sirens and the, and the helicopter right above. And, and then I you know, peek out once in a while and I see the SWAT team come and that type of thing. So it was pretty serious stuff. Other neighbors telling us they opened their door to fully armed deputies asking to search homes, looking for Bosch, fearing he might have jumped the fence into their pockets. And still a lot of unanswered questions about this. Police activity remains pretty high right now. You can still see they're still working the case. We're going to be around trying to get a little bit more information. We'll keep you updated with what we learn. In Moran Prairie tonight, I'm Jordan Smith for News Now.
Jordan, thank you. We now know the name of the miner who died in an accident at the Galena mine earlier this week. According to the company's preliminary report, 26-year-old Blake Nutting was using a drill to install roof bolts when a large slab fell on him. The report doesn't say what caused the slab to fall. The bill that would hold gun manufacturers and sellers responsible for their weapons falling into the wrong hands is now on its way to Governor Jay Inslee's desk. If signed, it would allow families of those killed by gun violence to sue gun makers who market to minors or others not allowed to own a gun. Supporters of the bill say it will help keep communities safe. Critics argue it goes after businesses instead of holding criminals accountable. Live look over downtown Spokane this evening where the falls are starting to roar as our snow melt just gets started and it is going to be a chilly evening in downtown. Here are four things to know about your weather. Chilly this evening, but we have a warmer weekend ahead. Temperatures about 10 degrees higher during the day than they have been the past couple of days. Sunday showers and then colder weather again next week. We'll be back up with highs in the 40s. Temperatures right now are in the 40s in many locations, including Spokane, Spokane Valley. It's 49 in Post Falls and 48 degrees at Hayden as well as Coeur d'Alene. Overnight lows tonight are going to be dropping down around freezing, so it will be a chilly start for your soccer games or your Saturday morning jog. 32 in Coeur d'Alene and Spokane down in the 20s in Spirit Lake tomorrow morning. Otherwise, in your Saturday forecast, we're going to start the day off with some bright sunshine. The clouds will be increasing with the overcast conditions by the late afternoon, but our high temperature is still getting close to 60 degrees. Even warmer weather for Sunday, but also wetter. I'll tell you about the timing on those showers in just a few minutes. Kirsten? Chris? Well, a couple thousand junior bloomies are hitting the sidewalks and pavement at Spokane Falls Community College this Sunday. The annual Junior Blooms Day race kicks off Sunday morning. Kids from third to seventh grade will be participating in a course that's about a mile and a half. Registration is closed now, but families who registered can pick up their race numbers tomorrow at the Student Athletic Center. Kids who finish the race Sunday get a bunch of prizes, including a ticket to Silverwood. Our own Peter Choi will be covering junior Junior Blooms Day Sunday. You can catch his report right here on KXLY at 5 and 6 o'clock. New at 630, take a look at the new Idaho driver's license design. It showcases the mountain bluebird, which is Idaho's state bird, along with the Sawtooth Mountains. Old Idaho licenses will remain valid until the expiration date printed on the card. There are also no fees for changing to the new design. Summer's just around the corner and Americans are gearing up in potentially record numbers to take those summer vacations. But rising demand and inflation means it will probably cost you more to get there. CNN's Ivan Rodriguez takes a look at the summer travel forecast and what it could mean for your plans and your wallet. It's only April, but summer travelers are already eager to take to the skies. On Thursday, Delta Airlines reported record advance bookings for this coming summer. And in its travel forecast released this week, Expedia noted a 25% increase in online flight searches for the June through August period. I thought last summer was going to be the sold out summer because of this pent up demand for travel, but people clearly didn't get it out of their systems. They're ready to go again this summer. People are not going to give up on their travel. Airlines say they're prepared for the summer travel surge, but fears of meltdowns like those that crippled air traffic last year has the FAA allowing some major airlines to reduce their flight schedules at a few of the nation's busiest airports due to a shortage of air traffic controllers in an effort to reduce flight delays. Let's remember those lessons we learned last summer, bring them into this summer, book those early flights when possible, direct flights when possible, and keep it all in a carry-on. The surge in demand for flights also means vacationers are likely to pay more. Airfares are up over last year, increasing by more than 17%, according to the latest federal inflation data. Yet higher prices don't seem to be deterring future flyers and there are still deals to be found. Book on Sundays, travel on Wednesdays, and the sweet spot to get the best deal on domestic airfare is 21 to 60 days out. I'm Ivan Rodriguez reporting. The Seattle Kraken are headed to the Stanley Cup playoffs for the first time in franchise history. Coming up in sports, Alex Crescenti tells us just how much of a turnaround they made from their first year in the league. 
Sign up for breaking news alerts with the 4 News Now app. 4 News Now is brought to you by the Sweet Palace and Sapphire Jewelry in Phillipsburg, Montana. Experience the film that started it all as a live symphony orchestra performs with the full movie on the big screen. Second show added. Get your tickets now at ticketswest.com. Come to Tawila Casino and cruise home a winner. You could choose keys or cash. Play your favorite games to earn entries. The more you play, the more chances you have to win. Earn bonus entries on Sundays in April for even more chances to win. You could win a 2023 Chevrolet Trailblazer or $25,000 cash. Join us for jackpot food and fun at the place that treats you right, Tawila Casino. You work hard for your money, and now you can get up to $1,200 back on state taxes you already paid with the Washington State Working Families Tax Credit. Visit workingfamiliescredit.wa.gov. You expect more from local news. 4 News Now delivers. It's to get you the information you need to plan your day. Breaking news this morning and breaking news you need to keep your family safe. On Good Morning Northwest, that's what we mean when we say expect more. Coeur d'Alene Denture Clinic is locally owned and operated and has been providing personalized, comfortable, and satisfying care to our clients for over 30 years. Our licensed denturists are trained in the latest techniques in the construction, development, and preparatory work of a denture. Full dentures, implant attachments, repairs, fittings, adjustments, we do it all. Every denture is made to look as close as possible to your natural teeth. With our knowledge and friendly staff, competitive costs, and quality of service, you'll leave Coeur d'Alene Denture Clinic smiling. Live has a new co-host. Hi, Mark Consuelos. Nice to meet you. <laughs> We're live with Kelly and Mark. Monday, Char Margolis and Chili. Watch live Monday at 9, right after GMA. Next DT. Taylor Swift's first concert since news of her split from Joe Alwyn. It's just a lot of a lot. Plus, this is entertainment tonight. We're on set of Live with Kelly and Ryan for Seacrest Daytime Goodbye. Then new Jennifer Garner. Remember me? Ready to bring back her big screen alias Electra? We'll just have to see, won't we? Next DT. Watch 4 News Now at 6 and Entertainment Tonight at 7.30. Oh, the ski report. We're got it going strong because it's actually going to be a really fun weekend on the slopes. Lookout pass open tomorrow and Sunday. They've got an inch of snow. Now they are going to close a little early on Sunday. Their tickets are half price on Sunday, so get up there early and enjoy. 49 degrees north open this weekend as well. They were open today. Two inches of new snow over the last 24 hours. Don't bundle up. It is going to be warm uh, as you enjoy two inches of new snow at Silver Mountain. They are open Saturday and Sunday. Meanwhile, Mount Spokane is closed for the season. If you go to their website, though, they've got some fun things planned for the summer, including some super cool camps for kids and their season pass sale is going on now, but not for much longer. Schweitzer also selling those season passes, but they are closed. Dining options still open on the mountains and they are getting ready for an action packed summer full of mountain fun. We do have some wet weather coming the second half of the weekend. This is our percentage chance of precipitation on Sunday and it looks like we're going to start the day off dry, not sunny by any means. It'll be a little bit warmer than uh, with temperatures in the 40s to start. Then by mid morning we have at least a slight chance of showers. More likely the rain is going to hold off until the afternoon with the possibility of some late day thunderstorms. If we get some sun Sun breaks especially uh, that will help fuel that convection. So the wetter of the two weekend days we're dry for Saturday. It is going to be a warm weekend. Here's a look at our temperature trend. This white line is our average high and will be a little bit above average in the upper 50s to right around 60 degrees Saturday and Sunday and then it dives down. 50s, even the 40s on Tuesday with a chance of showers just about every day through the seven day forecast as we remain in that unsettled spring like weather pattern. 
Cooler than average conditions still on track for the end of April the 22nd through the 28th. We're in the light blue, so hopefully not especially chilly, but below average with a slightly elevated chance of above average precipitation. But anytime we're in this light green, I'm a little skeptical uh, that we're going to see a lot of rain, probably more of that trophy weather pattern where we get the showers in the afternoon, but most of the day is dry. That is a good way to explain the showers in the seven day forecast. Most of the days will be dry, but you will be dodging showers, especially on Sunday afternoon, despite the fact that it is going to be fairly warm. Front comes through for cooler weather next week. Tuesday, a high of only 49 with a 20% chance of showers. We'll keep the slight chance of showers going through at least the end of the work week, but we also have a warming trend up to 55 on Friday. Overnight lows, with the exception of Saturday night and into Sunday, in the 30s with a few more nights below freezing. The growing season still about a month away. Kirsten? Good to know. Thank you, Chris. It is a great trail to walk no matter the weather. The Centennial Trail covers miles in Washington and Idaho. In this week's Air Force Adventure, we're checking out the Idaho side of the trail. It stretches from the border and goes all the way to Higgins Point, which is at the end of Coeur d'Alene Lake Drive. Let's go for a ride on the Air Force drone. The Spokane River Centennial Trail is Eastern Washington's recreational trail backbone. It runs from the Washington-Idaho border all the way up to Nine Mile Falls at the Nine Mile Falls Recreation Area. It's 39.2 miles in Washington. It also, from the state line, heads out all the way through Post Falls and Coeur d'Alene and ends at Higgins Point, 24 miles in North Idaho. So altogether over 60 miles of recreational trail for this region. Washington-Idaho State Line is a beautiful uh, renovated rail trail bridge that marks the two-state trail connection. Um, as you head into the valley area, what you have is really wide open spaces. As we come in along Upriver Drive, is more of an urban recreation trail. A number of recreational trails will spur into the Centennial Trail over time. Across the river from where we're standing here on Bridge Avenue, mile 23, um, just uh, east of Kendall Yards, we'll see the South Gorge Trail come online and make a wonderful loop between Post Street Bridge and the Sandifer Bridge in the west edge of Kendall Yards. Local residents use the trail in different ways. It's also really becoming an important way to commute to and from work and get folks out of vehicles. Friends of the Centennial Trail are the community advocacy voice for the maintenance, the completion, the wayfinding, and the use of the trail. So we're here to take your feedback and share it with state parks and our Centennial Trail Coordinating uh, Council. Um, again, the more that, that use it, the better it will be. But again, we just ask that the, the community understand what a beautiful recreational resource we have, support it and celebrate it and enjoy it. Here's a look at ABC's primetime lineup tonight. Download the 4 News Now app today. For a limited time only, get a new John Deere 1023E compact utility tractor with a 120E loader for only $199 per month. Take advantage of this exclusive offer for low monthly payments on top-of-the-line equipment that gets the job done, backed by our consistent quality customer service. Hurry in to your local Pape Machinery, Ag, and Turf store today to cash in on these limited time offers and get your property ready for the spring ahead. Pape keeps you moving. No matter where you are in your financial journey, we're here to help you along the way. Open a free Ascend checking account and you can earn 3.50% APY on balances up to $15,000 with no minimum balance required. Bring your finances to new heights with our checking that pays you dividends. Get your account today at p1fcu.org slash Ascend. P1FCU, your community, your credit union. Revving up.
of our community starts with you. That's right. You are invited to the Automotive Trades Night at Spokane Community College on Wednesday, April 19th. This is an opportunity to talk with professionals in the industry and find out what a career in this field looks like. Hands-on activities include racing, welding, automotive, car wrap technicians, and more. A huge thank you to the sponsors that made the Automotive Trades Night happen. For more information, visit our social media at Trades Night PNW and help us rev up our community on April 19th. Look at this baseball field and this one. How about this one? Which one is next for a 4 News Now Extreme Team Diamonds and Dreams makeover? How about yours? Go to KXY.com and tell us why your field deserves a makeover. Diamonds and Dreams brought to you by your hometown Chevy dealers and Horizon Credit Union. With prices of natural gas and propane skyrocketing, your heating bill is getting out of control. But before you turn down the heat, give the experts at Bill's Heating and Air a call. They have the latest in dual fuel technology to keep your family comfortable and utility bills low. And there's never been a better time to upgrade because now every furnace purchase comes with a free AC or heat pump. So call Bill's Heating today to get your free heat pump while supplies last. You will now be singing for America's vote. The top 26 take the stage from Disney's Aulani Resort. And the performances are... Crazy! 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 Talented! American Idol, new Sunday and Monday on ABC. 4 News Now is brought to you by Chewila Casino. We're just a little over two weeks into the Major League Baseball season and already you can see which teams are the contenders and which are the pretenders. As for the Seattle Mariners, it's just hard to tell where they fit in at this point. We know this team has a lot of talent on the roster and the pitching staff is solid, but so far it's not translating to wins. The M's are currently sitting at 5-8 and eight and 4th place in the AL West after dropping three of their last four games. And the main reason for these struggles is the play at the plate. You'd be hard-pressed to find any offensive category Category in which Seattle is in the top half of the league. They're tied for 15th in runs, 22nd in batting average, 24th in slugging percentage, and 27th in on-base percentage. They simply wouldn't make a money ball movie with this team. So that's not the recipe for success. But the Mariners will look to get back on track as they start a three-game series with Colorado coming up here in a few minutes. And the Spokane Indians just got underway with their matchup against Eugene. And already in the first inning, it's Eugene that leads two to nothing and we're gonna have the highlights from both of those games coming up for you on night side and after almost six months we have finally arrived to the final day of the NHL regular season and when the playoffs begin next week they will feature the Seattle Kraken for the first time ever in their second season in the league Seattle is making a bit of history as the most improved uh, a fr uh, expansion franchise in NHL history that includes 46 wins that's 19 more than they had last year and they finished with 100 points points, which is 40 more than they had in their inaugural season. But they made it clear after they clinched last week, they are in these playoffs to compete for a Stanley Cup. Yeah, I think you can say a little bit everything. I think just for our team, it's just a, a full 60 minutes of consistent, um, you know, wearing them down. And I think, uh, you know, once we've done that, we've shown we can kind of beat anyone. So. You know, the simplicity of our game is what makes us good. Uh, contributions from ev from everybody is what makes us good. Uh, we have to skate in all areas of our game to be effective, either with or without the puck. Now, there's still a couple of games ongoing, like we mentioned a moment ago, but if, it's, if the standings remain the same, at the end of the night, Seattle will travel out to Dallas to begin uh, their round one series against the Stars. Game one would be on Monday evening. And former Washington State Cougar basketball player TJ Bamba has a new home. The junior guard is headed to the Big East country as he committed to play for Villanova today. He chose the Wildcats over Kansas, Tennessee, Texas, North Carolina, and St. John's last season. Bamba Bamba averaged more than 15 points a game for the Cougars, shooting better than 37% from beyond the arc, and was named all Pac-12 honorable mention. Aaron, Kirsten, send it over to you. Alex, thank you. Well, normally when you go to a museum, you'll see exhibits celebrating human achievement and inventions that reshaped humanity like the printing press or the first computer. A pop-up museum in New York is paying tribute to some of corporate America's biggest flops. ABC's Tom Kelly takes us inside the Museum of Failure. From Google Glass, to New Coke, to this? Perhaps the worst Oreo flavor ever, barbecue chicken wing. We're at the Museum of Failure in Brooklyn, New York, which explores some of the world's biggest failures. 
Is failure the gateway to success? Open up a can of Olestra Pringles and a bottle of Crystal Pepsi and let's find out. This is crazy. Like, I come in here and think, were all these things made by idiots? Right. And they weren't. There were a lot of smart people behind it. And then there are still people who come in and say, that wasn't a failure. I loved that product. Crystal Pepsi, I loved it back in the day. I loved it too. Pepsi, we need to bring this back. The Apple Newton and Sony Betamax are just some of the commercial flops on display here at the museum, taking us on a journey through nostalgia, innovation, and danger. This had 6,000 children were wounded with jarts. Any of your friends ever hurt with a jart? No, it's just broken windows, but <laughs> car windows at that. <laughs> this is the hula chair, one of Time Magazine's 2010 worst inventions of the year. It's designed to work your abs while you're at work. That feels great on my abs. I can really feel this working. Other products that never quite took off. Colgate's beef lasagna, Kellogg's orange juice flavored cereal. The museum showcases more than 150 so-called failures, proving that even some of the most successful companies can make mistakes. If we don't have failure, we will not have innovation. Tom Kelly, ABC News, New York. Stream 4 News now on your TV for free with the KXLY Plus app. At Holiday, we are perfecting the air we share. Daikin's mission aligns with Holiday in advancing innovation every step of the way. Fixed right or it's free. Holiday heating, cooling, and electric. Ever wondered why you didn't receive an alert during a nearby emergency? To be contacted about a situation near your home or workplace and to receive automatic notifications, register at alertspokane.org. Alert Spokane issues all emergency notifications in Spokane County. Messages are sent via landline, cell, and voice over internet phones via text, TDD, and email. Learn more and register at alertspokane.org. Language options available. Don't be caught off guard. Stay alert. Stay safe, Spokane County. I just don't think STCU could handle us. We've grown a lot. Can I be frank with you? Not just because that's my name. And we've upgraded our tools, team, and bring a fresh perspective. So what's your pitch? Slow down a bit. Growth's great, but uncontrolled growth, now that can be dangerous. And how could growth be bad? Have you ever seen a six-foot-tall third grader sitting on Santa's lap? It's weird. This is some sort of reverse psychology. You can't drive 80 miles per hour down a highway that's not finished. You don't want to eat a grilled cheese. I would have stopped at the first one. I didn't know where I was going with that anyways. I get your point, but I don't need STCU to help us slow down. True, but we're happy to offer strategy and advice until you do need us. Sometimes, what's best for you doesn't boost our bottom line. Sounds like STCU actually cares. <laughs> we do. All right, three, two, one. I feel like we've had a breakthrough here today. STCU Business, partner up. Design, intelligent technology, courageous performance. Discover a new world of possibilities in the Lexus RX. Never lose your edge. The most important thing that I want to carry on, my dad has a strong belief in, it sounds so simple, but taking care of the customer. And so to stay humble and realize that we are lucky to have them, um, I think that's an important trait to have. 4 News Now is brought to you by the Spokane Speed and Custom Show this weekend. Coming up on Nightside, you can soon reserve parking at the Spokane Arena. And a deadly crash cut a car in half in Spokane Valley this morning, killing one man and sending a woman to the hospital with life-threatening injuries. We'll have the details at 11. After a cold start to the day tomorrow, we will warm up. I'm going to sneeze. There we go. To a high of almost 60 degrees. It is allergy season and there's some showers coming in for Sunday. Looks like they'll be coming in the second half of the day with the possibility of some isolated thunderstorms. But 
Temperatures about 10 degrees warmer than today for the weekend. I think you'll notice that. We'll take it. Yeah. It is the weekend. We need it for those soccer practices in the morning. <laughs>